What's up, everybody? I hope you've enjoyed your weekend and got lots of rest, considering it's back to work tomorrow. But uh, if not, well, I guess that sucks for you. <laughs> so that being said, I just wanted to jump in here real quick and get a video out on some things I've done with my Herbs Loaf setup. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know that um, I've been using Herbs Loaf for a while now. Um, in fact, my last video that I put out a, I don't know, a week or so ago um, gave some reasons as to why I like Herbs Lift so much and why I've actually switched to that as my daily driver and it has actually overtaken Xmonad as my favorite window manager. Um, but that's a that's going to be another video series, so if you're interested in that, you can go back and check out that video. Today's video is about some of the stuff I've done with my Herbs Lift setup. Specifically, one thing, um, Herbs Lift is pretty cool. It is extremely configurable. If you've watched, if you watched my last video, you know that if I launch Windows here, I can have my um, borders and I can have multiple borders of different colors. Um, as you can see in the back, in the front here on my floating windows, I've got a green border and a white border. Whereas on my static windows, it's blue and white, um, or no border, just a single white one for the unfocused window. Um, so that's really cool. You can have um, a larger gap here if you want between the two. You can. Have have a larger complete border, you can have a narrower complete border, you can have a wider inner border than outer border, a different color inner border than outer border, so it's just it's just really configurable, it's really cool, um, I really like the way it works. Um, so you can see that these are my different window colors, right? <clears throat> and border colors, you can look up here and you can see that my bar is um, just kind of not too bright, it doesn't pop out very um, very much, but it's just, it's really nice. I think it's a nice, cool, calm colors. Um, we've got some green and blues going on. Um, just a real nice, nice look, um, if I do say so myself. Uh, you might not think so, but hey, you know, luckily that's my computer and not yours. So, <laughs> um, as we look at this, we can see that, yeah, this, this is a pretty decent looking setup, um, and I've never been one for super never been one that's super big on, you know, uh, configuration and making all these Unix porn style, um, you know, massively um, customized desktops, you know, I just like something that's nice and simple. But sometimes you want that little pop of color. And I have created something that allows me to do that. So as you can see right here, you can see I've got the greens and the blues and the borders and stuff. Um, and in my bar, well, if I want a little bit of a change of pace and I want things to be brightened up a little bit, what I can do is if I press my mod key, which is Alt, and I press Control and then T, I get this little menu that pops up here. And right now I only have two selections, but this could be extended to have as many selections as you want. What I can do is if I scroll down here and I highlight orange and hit enter, what happens is, oh, look at that. We now have different colors in our bar. We have orange instead of green. We have orange borders on the um, floating windows and we still have blue borders on the uh, static windows, but you can see the gap between the two colors is gone, um, and there's just a little bit more brightness going on. It'll take a couple seconds here for this to populate, but you'll see that uh, that green section in my bar has changed to orange as well, and it's just a really cool um, aesthetic. Well, you can also go here on the second workspace, and you see it's changed my wallpaper as well. There's the rest of my bar. You can see it takes a minute because I have it sync my mail, so I can have my uh, um, my emails up here. Um, but see, I've got the orange now instead of green. It kind of matches the clouds. Um, I have the center of the bar is now blue as opposed to being gray. And um, I have orange over here for the uh, selected workspace and then blue for the um, occupied workspace that's unfocused. Um, so it's just a lot a lot uh, more bright and a lot then it pops at you more. But then if I wanted to change back, all I got to do is hit mod control T, bring up this window again, keep green selected, we hit enter. And we've switched right back to the green, and we're about our day with, uh, without any slowdowns or anything like that. So if you want to see how I went ahead and did that, if we go ahead and open a terminal here, and we cd into my scripts directory, let's clear the screen and let's zoom in a little. And if I do an ls, and we hit enter, you can see all the way over here I have this script called themecell.sh. So let's go ahead and vim into theme select.sh. And it's really just a basic, simple script. Um, all it does is I declare a couple variables here, and the directory is one of them. dir is home.config herbs lift. And then if we go ahead and let's go to another workspace here and open up another terminal, let's clear the screen, zoom in, and we'll cd into herbs lift. And if I do an ls, you can see. 
right here, sorry, I have HLWM themes. So if we CD into HLWM themes and I do an LS, you can see I've got options and theme. So let's CD into options and hit LS and options and you can see I've got green and orange. Well, if I vim into green, you can see up here I've got the wallpaper and then I have this section of my Herb's Lift configuration that declares all of my theming. And I have this stored in its own file. And so basically what this does is it looks for that directory and then I have another one for theme and that's home.config Herb's Lift HLWM themes and that's the theme file. You know this is the options directory that was um, in here so let's go ahead and quit out of here real quick um, remember I had options and I had theme so the theme is going to be the theme file and then the bar theme is going to be my polybar theme dot ini which is just going to declare colors so if we go back over here and we uh, go back and go back again and let's clear the screen and do an ls um, you can see I've got polybar themes right here so if I CD into poly bar themes, oops, underscore themes, and I do an LS, you can see I've got options and theme.ini. Actually, let's do ranger and get into ranger here. This way it's easier to just kind of go in. So you can see I've got in my options directory, I've got orange and green, just like in my options directory for the HLWM themes. So we've got the theme for the window manager and the theme for the bar theme. So that declares those two. And then I have the menu basically right here, which is the themes. So it's going to list this directory right here. And it's going to pipe it into FCF. And it's just going to give me my, my themed window that pops up. And it's going to have those options in it. And then whichever theme I select, so it's going to say if themes. So whichever one of these I select, um, then it's going to copy that theme, so if I select orange, it's going to copy this orange file. Oops, went back to the wrong workspace. And it's going to copy it into the theme directory. And then it's going to copy this orange file in the options for the polybar. And it's going to copy it into the bar theme, which is this directory right here. So if we go back over here, it's going to copy this orange theme into theme.ini and it's going to copy this orange theme into theme right here and then basically what it's going to do is it's going to p kill a polybar which is going to kill this bar again and then it's going to reload my it's going to the herbs client reload which will reload my configuration file for herbs look and if we go into my auto start file for herbs lift and we scroll down to the theme section uh, which i went over in my other uh, video but if we scroll down to the theme section then what i have is if in this file, so basically what it's saying is if this file exists, then it's going to call this file to look for my, or to provide a theme for my Herb's Lift setup. So I don't have to keep all my theming um, rules and all my theming colors and everything in my Herb's Lift auto start config. What I do is I keep it in this theme directory. Then if I want to be able to change themes, I can have as many different themes as I want in this options directory and then it will copy that when I select them into the theme and then obviously that theme is what my auto start calls. And same goes for polybar. Um, if we go into my polybar void config right here, which is the polybar I'm using in um, my Herb's Lift configuration, um, you can see it right over here. Do, 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 do. Somewhere it's going to do my uh, panel.sh script. And so if we do panel.sh, you can see in here that it calls for my uh, polybar void config. So what we can do is we can have as many polybar theme options as we want over here and then they will get pulled into this theme.ini and then when we run the polybar void config you can see right here it includes file theme.ini which is going to pull my colors uh, for my polybar theme so basically it's just a real quick script that allows me to change everything on the fly without having to close up um, Herb's Lift and uh, reload everything or relaunch or whatever else, change anything in my files. I can just do a quick key binding and uh, call it and be good to go. So again, right now we're in the green. If I hit mod and then control and T, it's going to bring up my menu again. Let's switch to the orange. And bam, we've switched to the orange color. 
you can see the background has changed my border colors here have changed my bar has changed it like I said it takes a minute to launch that bar because I do have my mail syncing every time I do that to make sure I keep my emails up to date um, so we can sit here for a second and wait or we can just hit mod control T and if we want to go back to green we just highlight the green again and we hit enter and there we go we are back to the green and everything is hunky-dory so again you can have as many configurations as you want as many themes as you want um, and you can just scroll through and change them at will so um, I just wanted to kind of highlight that and just show you another one of the cool things I'm sure you can do this with other window managers as well there's people out there but herbs love just being a um, shell script for the configuration file makes things so super stinking easy um, just again it's one of the reasons I really love this window manager and I really think it should have more um, of the market share than it does I think people if they actually sat down and saw the configurability of it and the extensibility and just what all you can actually do with this I think more people would definitely use this window manager so I'm gonna use my platform to tell you give it a shot try it out if you don't love it then you know don't use it but I have a, I have a hard time believing that if you try it and stick with it for a little bit of time to figure it out you are going to love this window manager as well so that being said I hope you found this interesting or informational um, and maybe educational if not I hope you at least found it interesting um, and entertaining because uh, if not these videos are kind of a waste of time then so that being said I hope you guys have a great rest of your day a great weekend and just remember um, give herbs love to try it is definitely worth it God bless